Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to implement a card style modal into your Ionic React applications. The Ionic framework makes it so easy to do this with one simple extra prop on the component. A card style modal is available in iOS mode only and it basically allows you to present a modal on top of or stacked on top of a parent page or component. So if you're a returning subscriber, please leave a little comment below, let me know and I will reply. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that big red button, it really does support me and I would really appreciate it. So for this video, I'm going to be using an app that's already on the Ionic React Hub. It's a dictionary app that lets you search for words and play audio files to hear what the words sound like. So in this app, there are currently some card style modals so if i hit view here you can see how it opens the modal up nicely stacked on top of the page and the animations are quite nice as well so i thought i would use this app as a base and implement a simple card style modal to show you how to actually do it within your app so i'll leave the link to this app in the description for the ionic react hub if you want to download it you can take the code and go through this together with me if not, you can do this within your own app or a base project as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another card with a button inside it on the home screen or the dashboard here. So first of all, I'll copy this row and I'll change all of the, the text inside it. So I've changed all the text to be card style modal, click to open card style modal and open modal button. So now we need to look at the on click event of this button. Because we're not actually navigating to another page, we're just opening a modal. We don't need a router link or any type of link component from the React router. We just need an on click to show a modal. So what I'm going to use for this implementation is the use ion modal overlay hook. If you're not familiar with the overlay hooks in Ionic React, I'll leave a little link in the top right here of this video where I go through all of the overlay hooks and explain how to use them. So if you want to check that out, you can. To get started, we're going to need to set up our use ion modal hook. So we just have a show modal and a hide modal function here that comes from the use ion modal. The first component or the first parameter that the use ion modal expects is a component. I've already went ahead and created a component called new modal. This new modal component is basically just an empty modal with a toolbar and a little bit of text. So it's pretty simple. The next thing we, we need to supply are some options to our modal. And the options that we can supply in here are things like passing data or the dismiss function and things like that. So what I'm going to pass is a dismiss function and we're going to set up a handle dismiss modal function const handle dismiss modal and basically all this is going to do is call the hide modal so now that we've got our hook and our modal set up all we need to do is add a click event to our button that basically opens this modal so let's do that now uh, let's come down to our button and inside the button let's add on click and basically all we're adding here is show modal so if we save that, our button click should work currently. It opens the modal, but you'll notice that it's not a card style modal just yet. And that's because we need to add one extra prop. So if I close this and change this to handle show modal, just to make it look a bit cleaner while I show you this. So just up here below the handle dismiss modal, we're going to create a function called handle show modal. And this modal is basically just going to call show modal, but we're also going to pass in some options into this as well. And the options we need to pass in here is the special prop called presenting element. And the presenting element is the element that the modal is presenting from. So it can be a page, it can be a modal itself, it can be the, the main router. What I like to do, if I'm coming from a main page or a tab page, I create a ref on the ion page element and then pass the current ref into this presenting element. So what we'll need is const page ref equals use ref and that's imported from react. 
And then on the ion page, we just pass that ref in. And then the presenting element here will just be page ref dot current. And we can save that. And now if we click on the open modal button, you can see that we get a card style modal that is stacked on top of the page. And look how nice and effective that looks. One of the big advantages of using a card style modal like this is that it gives the illusion that you're still within the same page and you're just opening up a modal to look at additional information related to whatever that button is. So with a traditional modal or if you were to link off to another page, that sort of separates the, the content and the information from each other. Whereas a card style modal, it looks like the button is actually expanding up into full screen. So that's basically it. Literally all you need to do is use this presenting element prop on the show modal and make sure to pass in the current ref of whatever the element is that you're coming from. For example, the page, a modal itself or the main router. So if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a card style modal in Ionic React, please leave a little thumbs up, leave a little comment below, and if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do. Until the next one, thank you.